I think they're land on. Yeah, buck pruitt. Might but be one of the finest fellers there is. You know, and you won't find a land owner like that. You know, whatever. Do you want, I'll tell you what I like about him. He, he gets my cameraman out of the stand to bring him something from Crystal's just so I can kill a deer. That's <laughs> what I like. He did. Just so you know, Bob, Jim Vice is the luckiest man alive, okay? <laughs> I'm just going to put that out there. I could go on for two hours and stories and just to tell you how lucky he is and he'd realize that. But, you know, I'm not going to get into that. Maybe later on in another second. I actually think it's 90% skill, 10% luck. I mean, look here, folks. What happened, what, folks, but what you don't understand is when that when Kyle left the stand to go to Crystal's last week. Now, that big buck was looking for it. He was looking for a chick meal. That's what he wanted. But he come through there at the wrong time, at the wrong place, and Maggie May laid him down. But what I didn't tell Kyle is I went into my secret calling. I've got some secret calling that I use, but I don't like to do it in front of people because it's just pure showing off. So what I did is I did that call right after Kyle. I could actually see him getting on the prowler. And I called, and he come right on in, just like it was a Hollywood script. Yeah. He knew what was going on. Hey, folks, yes, he thinks that, uh, you know, that deer hunting is skill, okay? Look here. All you can do is, is you can scout, you put your time in, you know, you find be like me on the coyote the other morning. But, uh, oh, yeah. I believe if it was a big buck, it'd been a different story. Yeah, well, I kind of rushed a shot on the coyote. Don't know why. But Kyle, hey, we used to call coyote killer. Now we call him Chocolatopus. Yeah. That has got to last a little longer. Think about Oprah, I'm going to tell you right now, you can last all night. I'm going to motorboat mine tonight. You motorboat. You sandbagging son of a bitch, you. <laughs> Guess what? It's wedding season. You sandbagging son of a bitch, Sandbagging son of a bitch. Who are we going to be this time? <laughs> Let me tell you a story about a man named Jed. The poor son of a bitch barely killed his son of a And then one day he was using the food and up on the ground come a bubbling crew. Oh, that is black gold, Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kid folks said, get the fuck away from there. Said, California is the place you ought to be. So he loaded up the truck and he moved to Beverly Hills, that is. Swimming pool, movie stop. Y'all come back now. Yeah? Do try this at home. We, we're not doing it. What are you talking about? That ain't one of our sponsors. Hey, it'd be good to get it, though. It'd be good to get if we want to have lip fungus. Hey, look here. Look, one of these days, Kyle's going to be... Kyle's, Kyle's gun disease and he's disease gonna, you're going to be all smile one of these days. You're going to have nothing but teeth. You're going to have no lips left. You're going to look like a road whore from Las Vegas. You ain't going to have no lips left. <laughs> Believe us, alone, we're seriously deer hunting here. Danger if it, of explosion. If battery is incorrectly replaced, replace only the same or equivalent type. I don't like to read that stuff on the back of the monitors. Let's stay in for a little while. Um, I'm, I'm, we got plenty of footage of me. We've only got three minutes left. We're playing with the camera. Well, does it make it shaky? Yeah, it's clear. Does it make it shaky, ducky? Don't you quit for me, good person, smack you. That's all it is to it. Yeah, you heard it all, folks, from Chocolatopus. Mm-hmm. We're showing Chocolatopus tonight, everybody. We're showing. We're showing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need to write a song. <laughs>